the author of the Medina Arabic books, the books used by uh, millions of students and non-students who want to learn the Arabic language. Um, he has passed away. Uh, Dr. V. Abdurrahim has passed away. Uh, may Allah have mercy upon him and reward him for his beneficial works. The author of the Medina book series, hundreds of thousands of students have studied Arabic through his curriculum that he designed for Medina University students. And um, many people who aren't Medina University students have benefited from these books also. Uh, they've been translated into other languages as well to uh, enable people from all around the world to benefit um, and has helped many people. Um, I myself have uh, looked into these books and they are beneficial, uh, particularly particularly under a teacher who um, helps you understand certain things that you may not understand by yourself. Um, a lot of the things are broken down to make it easier. Um, and this is something of a a legacy, if you like. I don't know anything about the Sheikh until right now. Even today, I didn't know anything about the Sheikh at all. I didn't know the name of the Sheikh. I didn't know the Sheikh made these um, books. Um, but today, I found out, like many times, when people pass away, that's the first time I know about them. But look at the legacy that someone is able to leave. How many people have benefited, benefited from the work? of these books and how many will continue to benefit and not only that the people who have benefited they will continue to benefit others and they will continue to benefit others and this is what we should be aiming to do to leave a legacy to benefit humanity to benefit people to leave an impact that lasts not just after not just while we are alive after after we're alive not just one generation until the day of judgment, something should be left directly or indirectly that we have impacted people in a good way, in a positive way, in a way that they have benefited once we have left.